So for our pineapple salsa, you wanna make your salsa first. So that's gonna be the first thing that we do is we're gonna make our salsa. And this is something that you can make ahead of time. I know I always share that I make a lot of dishes that you can kind of plan ahead of time. And that way it makes it easier and it, make, it makes it easier to make the dish and it also makes it easier for you um, when, it, when it's time for dinner. A lot of times we tend to not eat as well because we eat on the run or we grab something really fast. So if we have it prepared ahead of time, it's easy to go grab. One thing about salsa, you can make it a day or two ahead of time, put it in the refrigerator, keep it nice and cold, and it just kind of gets better with time. All of the flavors marry together, and it's really, really good. So this is something that you can make ahead of time. You can make your salsa the day before, and then you can make your fish the next day. So for the salsa, I have a red pepper, a red bell pepper, and that's because it's a little bit sweeter. I have a lime. I also have a red onion. I have a bunch of cilantro, and I have a fresh whole pineapple. So we're gonna get this all cut up, and I know on previous videos I said I love shallots, so I like to use those instead of onions, and I do because they do have a milder, fla milder flavor. So if you wanted to substitute the red onions for shallots, you can definitely do that. In this particular dish, in the salsa, I like the bite of the red onion, so I'm going to use that. All of my um, veggies have been washed ahead of time. So what I did was ran some cold water. I put just a little drop of vinegar in it to help wash my fruit. So I did it for the peppers, I did it for the onion, I did it for the lime, and for the cilantro. What I did with the cilantro, you get a really, really big bunch and you don't need as much. So I took half of the bunch and I put it inside of the water and I let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I would go in and kind of swish it around because cilantro like parsley tends to have a lot of grit or dirt in it. So the more that it's, the longer that it sits and you swish it around, it helps to wash away some of that um, dirt. So I like to do that drain the water, then add it back and give it another rinse. And then once I take it out, I will then strain it in a paper towel just to let it get a little bit dry. Now, if you want to wash your cilantro ahead of time, you can do that. Then you can lay out some paper towels and lay it on the paper towels and let it sit overnight so that the, um, the water or the liquid can come off of it. But because I'm making it tonight, I washed it kind of swished it around a little bit and then strained it inside of the paper towel and it turned out really nice and pretty. Cilantro has a, I don't wanna say a strong flavor, but everybody don't like cilantro. So I would say use a little bit first and then add more if you like. Whenever you're making a salsa, cilantro just gives it, um, almost, I, I say authentic taste. It gives it an authentic taste. So um, that's why you wanna add cilantro to this dish. What I'm going to do is I'll pan the camera down so you can see how I cut the veggies. Because you're making a salsa, you want a medium to small dice. You don't want really um, big chunky pieces. You want it, you know, almost, you want all your cuts almost even. Whenever I cut my pineapple, I tend to leave a bowl next to me so that I can add the trash or the outside of the pineapple to the bowl and then throw it away at the end. Another thing that I did was with the pineapple, I washed that as well. So I took the pineapple, rinsed it off in the sink really, really good, um, and then turned it upside down because the top part or the crown of the pineapple will hold water. So I rinsed it, um, turned it upside down so that the water can drain. Once it drained, I wiped it off with a paper towel. I use a lot of paper towels in drying stuff off. So we're gonna start by cutting our pineapple, then we will cut our pepper, our onions, our cilantro, and then we will squeeze the lime in it, and then we will season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Not a lot, you wanna keep this really, really fresh, and you wanna keep it low sodium. So I'm gonna pan the camera down so that you all can see 
what um, I'm doing as I cut. Okay, so we have our pineapple and we're going to start by cutting that first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay the pineapple down and I'm going to cut the top off first. So we'll give that a nice cut. I'm going to put that to the side. And then I always turn it around, so I'll turn it that way so I can cut the bottom. So I cut the bottom of the pineapple. And then that way I'm able to stand it up, if you all can see. So I'm going to go in a little bit more. There you go. So I have stood the pineapple up. And then I'm going to cut down the sides. So I'm going to cut down this side. And then down that side. And what I'm doing as I'm cutting down, I'm trying to make sure that I get the eyes out. As you can see, the brown part, I call them eyes so I'm trying to get those out. So I'm going to, there we go, cut down the side. And sometimes the eyes will go in a little bit deeper. If so, you can come back and clean that up, but I'm just gonna peel it down and peel it down. Peel it down. So now we have, I'm going to move this first, all of our peels. So I'm going to move those and put those in our bowl. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some paper towels. Like I said, I use a lot of paper towels. I'm going to wipe off my knife and my cutting board just to get some of the outside of the pineapple that came off so I just like to clean that up and as you can see some of the pineapple still has the eye eyes as I call them but we got most of it so I'm just gonna go back and clean up where they are and I think that's pretty good as you see we have our pineapple and then I'm going to cut let me go up there we go I'm going to cut down the pineapple so I cut down and now I have the pineapple cut in half and then I'm going to take this piece here and I'm gonna cut it in half. So you have fours, so I cut it in half. Now I'm gonna be able to set the pineapple up so that I can now cut the core out. So as you see, we have the core still intact. Still have our core in here. And what I'm going to do is cut the core out and lay it flat. So now your core is out. You can discard the core or you can keep the core and eat it. I like to eat the core. The core has a lot of good fiber in it. So we're gonna take the core out of the inside of this one as well. It's time for me to sharpen my knife again. Um, you know, in the kitchen, you want to make sure that your knife is sharp. A dull knife is just, well, not just, is more dangerous than a dull knife. So, a, I mean, yeah, a, 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 a what am I, <laughs> let me back up. A um, dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp knife. That's what I was trying to say. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dice up the pineapple. Okay, now that our pineapple is cut, we want to dice it. So the easiest way to dice the pineapple is I'm going to cut it the long way. So I'm just gonna come down, come down, come down, come down, and 
come down. And for this recipe, if you want to use the whole pineapple, you can, but you don't have to use the whole pineapple. I'm just going to use a half of the pineapple. And so we're going to cut that a little bit more. So now we have our slices, as you can see, and then we're just going to dice those. So that was a little bit of core. I'm going to go ahead and get that out. And you can tell when it's the core because it will be a little bit tougher than the pineapple. All right, so I'm going to just dice this. Let me move it to the side so you all can see. I'm used to just cutting, so <laughs> I will sit this to the side. And then we're just going to dice. So we got room. And I'm just gonna go here, here. And then I'm just going to dice it. And I have my bowl right here with my spoons. So I'm just going to pick this up with my knife and I'm going to add it to the bowl. Now I am a stickler for gloves. I love gloves. Um, and since the pandemic, it's been so hard for me to find small gloves because my hands are tiny. But because I'm at home and this is for me, my hands are washed, clean hands, and I don't have on gloves. If this is something that you are making for someone else, you want to make sure that you have on gloves. Um, and I say that because this is considered a ready to eat dish which means we are not going to cook it anymore because it's a salsa. So you just wanna make sure that your hands are clean and that you have on gloves. If this is something that you're gonna make for yourself, you also wanna make sure that your hands are clean and you don't have to wear gloves if you're making it for yourself. I just kinda of wanna put that point out there um, because I love gloves and it's just been so hard for me um, to find them. I, I find them but I use them a lot as well. So, and we're just dicing this up. Our pineapple. And I might just use, I don't know, I think I'll do a half. I was thinking about just doing a quarter, but I think I'll do the whole half. Pick this up and I'm just adding it to my bowl. Just giving it a nice dice. Add it to my bowl. And I'm going to do the other quarter, cut it down. And I could have went a little bit deeper into the core, but I didn't want to take too much of the pineapple. And I like the core a lot. So if it's some inside the salsa, I am fine with that. So I'm going to just dice. And I love this salsa because it's so fresh. And if you like um, spicy, you can add jalapenos to this as well to give it a little bit of spice to it. You don't have to add a lot of jalapenos unless you like a lot of spice. So if you like a lot of spice, you can add as much as you like. And one thing that I, I'm trying to do with the videos is just really be authentic. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, videos are edited so much. I think I've said this before, but the videos are edited so much that you, all you see is perfection. And in the kitchen, it's not always perfection. And I don't want people to, you know, get, I don't want to say confused, but feel like if they make something and it's not quite right or not quite the way 
that they wanted it, that, that that's not right. You know, it's okay to try things out in the kitchen. It's okay to try recipes in the kitchen. It's okay to modify um, a recipe. Sometimes when you get a recipe, if someone has given you a recipe, if you change it up, that's fine. It happens. So I try to make sure that I'm very authentic in the videos with you all so that you can see that the kitchen is not always perfect. <laughs> So, I'm gonna take the spoons out, but we have our diced pineapple in here. I'm gonna put the spoons back in, and then I am going to dry the cutting board, and we will then slice, so I'm gonna dry my knife, and also dry the cutting board, just a little bit from the pineapple juice. And I always, like I said, keep a trash bowl next to me. So I'll just sit that in the bowl. And the next thing I'll cut is the pepper. So I cut a little bit of this pepper off already, but I'm gonna cut the rest to show you. So we'll cut the top off. We'll cut the bottom off. We'll put that to the side. And then you will open I can cut a little bit more of that top off let me cut a little bit more of the top off there we go and you want to open it and take out the ribs so if you can see the ribs and the seeds we want to go ahead and take that out and then I like to cut that out so I'm gonna slice it here and then I'm gonna hold it flat and I'm going to go in and cut the, I put my hand in the front, so I'll do it again for you all, but I cut the rib out, let's move that. So same here, I'm gonna lay it flat and I'm gonna come through with the knife, I'll do it slow, and I'm just gonna go down and take that rib out. So got the rib out and our pepper, is nice and clean if you got any seeds that's lingering we're gonna go ahead and move those seeds and then I'm going to dice the pepper so I'm gonna cut it in strips so we have it in some strips here and then we're gonna go ahead and if you have to you don't have to do it all this at once you can set some to the side, do a bunch. If you have to cut them one by one, that's fine as well. But I'm just gonna take a little bit here and I'm just going to dice them. And clean off my knife and add those to our pineapple bowl. And the thing with the um, this recipe also, we're gonna add the lime juice the, with the lime being citrus the citrus is going to not cook, but it will cook our food a little bit. Um, it won't cook it like heat, but the citrus will um, cook it down a little bit. So whenever you're marinating, like you're marinating chicken or fish or anything with the citrus, you wanna make sure that um, you don't marinate it too long because it will, the acid will start to cook it is what I'm saying. Um, so not heat cooking, but the acid will start to cook it. So we have our peppers. We'll move a little bit to the side and then we're just gonna dice them up. And we're gonna add that to our bowl with the pineapple. So we got everything is a nice dice. And this is gonna be so pretty when you get the yellow from the pineapple, the red from the peppers, and then you get the um the green from the cilantro and the little bit of red, almost burgundy from the uh, onion, it's really, really good. So we have our onion here. And what I'm gonna do with the onion, almost what I did with everything is I'm gonna take 
the front off. And with this, I'm going to leave the bottom on, but I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna cut it in half. As you can see, I cut it in half. And then I'm only going to use part of the half, not all of it, but I'm going to peel the skin off. And you wanna make sure that you get down to that onion layer and not skin. So we're going to peel that back. We'll get some of this stuff off our cutting board and I'll get the onion chopped. So we have our onion here. We left the bottom because the bottom, we're gonna use that to hold it together. So with the onion, you just wanna come down and slice it. And I like to hold it when I get towards the end. So we slice the onion. Now, if you wanna be advanced, you can cut in this way, but we don't have to because the way that an onion is layered, it's almost already diced for us. So we went down and then we're gonna cut this way and that will give us our dice. So I am going to do about half of the half. And that is enough onion. So we have our onion here. I'm gonna set that aside. So we have our diced onion. And then we're going to add that to our bowl. And if you can make it without crying, that's good. <laughs> One tip to an onion as well, if you put it in the refrigerator, um, when you're uh, when you are, before you dice it, then it will help um, calm down the juice, which, which is what makes your eyes water. So I'm gonna wipe off our cutting board again. And I made it barely with just a few tears. You all can't see, but only a few tears. So that's good. <laughs> so I'm gonna wipe off my cutting board. This is the most labor intensive part of this dish. Um, it's making the salsa. The fish part is really, really easy. So I'll show you our bowl again. Let me move our spoons. So if you can see, we have our pineapple, we have our peppers, and we have our onion. All right, so now we are going to cut our cilantro. And our cilantro is just a very rough chop on it. So what you wanna do is take your cilantro, put it down on your cutting board. And I like to then almost roll it up. So you're gonna kinda roll it as much as you can and then you're just gonna come down and you're gonna chop it. So now we've kind of rough cut it, and then we want to take our knife, and we're just going to kind of rock it. So you're going to hold your knife here, you put your hand on the top, and then you're going to use that to guide it, and you're just going to chop it up. And you want to chop it almost fine, because you don't want big peaches pieces of cilantro. So we'll put it here. We're just gonna cut it. And we wanna chop it so we just have a nice mix on it. And we're gonna kinda bring it together on the cutting board. And chop some more. And if you see, we 
chopped it really nice. And got a little piece that's lingering, so we'll come back and get that guy. And then we're just gonna add that to our bowl. So, clean off our spoons. And as you can see, we have our pineapple, our peppers, we have our cilantro and our onion. We're gonna clean off our cutting board one last time. And then we're going to cut our lime and add our lime to it. So before I clean off the cutting board, I wanna get as much of this in our mixture as possible. And then I'm now going to Still got a good bit on my knife, so I want to get that inside our bowl. Get the other side. And I'm going to wipe off our knife. And I'm going to wipe off our cutting board. So we wanna just kinda of wipe our cutting board as good as we can. And we'll clean it all up at the end. There we go. So we're gonna take our lime. We're going to cut our lime in half. And now we're coming to the fun part. So put our knife there. We're gonna bring our bowl here. And we're gonna add the fresh lime juice. So you just wanna squeeze it. And I'm going to use the whole lime. So that's one. And the other half. Make sure I squeeze all of it. <laughs> So we're gonna squeeze that nicely. We're gonna add that to our bowl, our trash bowl. Put our core in there. And we're going to take our spoon and we're just gonna stir this all up. I mean, doesn't that look fresh and delicious already? I'm not gonna add salt to mine. You are welcome to add a pinch of salt to this, but I'm going to leave it nice and fresh without the salt. The lime has given it a little bit of juice. And once again, this is something that you can make over, make ahead of time and keep in the refrigerator overnight. So this looks really good. I'm going to clean off our bowl. Just kind of go around the sides of the bowl just to make sure it's nice and clean. So we'll just take a paper towel so you all get to see my paper towel obsession. So I use a lot of paper towels. So we cleaned our bowl and we have our beautiful salsa. So we have fresh pineapple, red peppers, red onions, cilantro, fresh lime juice, and then you can add jalapenos if you like for spice with a little bit of salt and pepper if you like. So this is our salsa, I love it, it's so pretty. The color is beautiful. And just so you all can see, so you don't think I'm making it up, this is my junk bowl. <laughs> so this is my core and the pineapple but if you keep a bowl to the side it's for easy cleanup you put it all in the bowl and then you dump it all into the trash so it just makes for easy cleanup some people that do a compost um may use that to grind up and then put in their yard so it helps um fertilize the grass but that's 
something totally different, but I try to keep a bowl next to me because those are that is one of the tips that just makes cooking a little bit easier. Um, because a lot of times cleanup can be extra or just you know take up more time. So if you're cutting like a lot of fresh vegetables like we did tonight, you can keep your bowl, put it in your bowl, and easily put it to the trash. Now that our salsa is made, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and then we are going to make our salmon. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do for our dish is we're going to cook our salmon. So I have a fresh piece of salmon here and I like to get fish with the skin on. So it does have the skin on it and we're just going to, and I say grill, you can grill this in the oven, you can grill it outside or you can grill it on the stove. I have a grill pan, but today or tonight, I'm not going to use the grill pan. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it and I'm going to actually cook it in a saute pan. So I just have a pan here that I already, well, can see, put a little bit of olive oil in it. I'm going to season the fish with a little bit of all-purpose, no salt seasoning. It's up to you if you want to add salt. You can just use a little bit of salt to your fish. I'm just gonna add a little bit of all-purpose, no salt seasoning to it. I'm gonna sear the, pan, sear the fish in the pan and then we will put our salsa on top of it. So I will make sure that I pan down so that you all can see the um, salmon as it cooks. 